In this super quick Webflow tutorial, I'll teach you how to upload a PDF file and how to link it onto your website. Let's take a look at this example website, hbspca.com. As you can see, if I head over to the about, there's a page called impact report. And in this impact report, it essentially summarizes a PDF report file, which the user can hit download. And what this will do is it will take you to a new tab with the specific PDF file. In this case, it's a report. So why, why you might want to upload a PDF file to your website and link it through a button could be many reasons. In this specific case scenario, it's a report. So let's go ahead and do this in Webflow. As you can see right now in my Webflow page, I just have a title. Then I just have a typical button and just an image just to show you how to do this. Super, super easy. All you really need to do is upload the PDF into the asset panel by clicking this button right here. The shortcut is actually J. So if you hit J, it actually puts the asset panel right here. Then all you need to do is just head over to your computer and download or upload the PDF file. In this case, I just have the Woolworth annual report. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag it into the asset panel like so. And you'll see that is now loading the PDF file. And just a bonus tip just to help you guys out. Sometimes when you compile a PDF file, the size might be really, really big. So I always recommend to use a compressor. So for example, there's a website called ilovepdf.com slash compress underscore PDF. And if you actually drag your PDF file onto this website, and again, there's many other websites, you can see that it allows you to compress the PDF file size to be very high compression, to be recommended compression, or just a lower quality compression. I always use recommended, then I hit compress, and usually this actually compresses the PDF file by over 50% file size saved without losing any of the quality noticeable to the human eye. So once that's done and everything has been uploaded, you can see right now we have the PDF file right here. And if you hit the gear icon right here, you'll notice that you can actually click onto this button right here, this arrow, which takes you to the website URL, like so. And you'll notice it's sitting in the Webflow servers, upload-ssl.webflow.com. But you'll notice that the PDF file is right here, so the user can easily just view the PDF file, or they can just hit the download button on the top right. And of course, this all works on mobile, etc. That is essentially how you do it. Let's go ahead and go into this button right here that we just created. And we can actually hit settings. And right now, there's two ways you can link the PDF. One is you can copy that URL that I just showed you, like so and paste it in the URL of the link settings in settings right here. Then you can also hit open in new tab if you wanted to open in a new tab. Or the other way is to actually hit this button right here, which says file. And this pulls all the assets from the asset panel. So you can hit choose attachment and you can go ahead and click onto the PDF file itself. And you can also click open in new tab. Then you just want to hit publish website. And once your website has been published, the PDF is now linked to the button. So let's take a look at that now. Right now, where I say download report, you can see in the bottom left of my screen, it's showing the URL. And if I click on it, it's now taking me to that PDF that I've just uploaded. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I know it's a quite simple one, but it is possible to upload PDFs in Webflow. If you found this tutorial helpful, please visit my website, dereksu.com.au slash value for more value. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace be with you.